Welcome to the Eagle Pride News. I'm Fallon. Today is Friday, October 16, 2020. Welcome back, Eagles. I hope you enjoyed your fall break. Let's get started with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our school pledge with Brian. Thanks, Fallon. I'm Brian. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Eagle Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the Republic of for which it, it stands, one nation, under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am a Barack and Michelle Obama Academy Eagle. I soar, soar above my potential. I thrive despite any obstacles. I am strong. My mind is ready for challenges. My soul is free from difficulties. I soar like an eagle to limits and possibilities. This eagle is a champion, landing on triumphs through confidence, courage, love, and perseverance. I am Barack and Michelle Obama Academy Eagle. Now, please pause for a silent reflection. Few words of wisdom. D.T. Suzuki was a great teacher who spent his whole life helping people of different religions understand one another. He probably knew this ancient Zen saying, one moon shows in every pool, in every pool, the one moon. Think about that. Every night, all around the world, people of all different races, religions, countries and beliefs look up at the same moon every pool of water on the on the earth regardless of who looks into it reflects the same moon next time you look up into the night sky think about all the other people standing in the same moonlight and remember that more than six billion human beings beings are sharing this one little planet with this same single moon above it with something to think about this is bryson powell make it a great day or not the choice is yours our principal mrs christian has some thoughts Let's go, Demo Nation. This is Principal Christian bringing you our wonderful morning broadcast. So, boys and girls, guess what? You already know this. My birthday is coming up, but it's really not about me. Remember, it's about you. And the greatest gift that you can give Principal Christian is the gift of reading. So don't forget that October 30th, we're going to have a huge birthday celebration just for me, but we'll be celebrating you. So all of our students that meet their accelerated reader goal will get the opportunity to celebrate with me. So whether or not we're virtual or face-to-face, we're going to have special treats for all of our students that meet their reading goal. Don't forget, and last but not least, I'm going to ask all of you, all of our BEMO scholars out there, to please remind your parents to go out and rock the vote. Early voting is going on in Principal Christian. I've already voted. Please operate in your right to vote. Let's go, BEMO Nation. Continue to follow those four school-wide rules be brilliant, and I, you never know. Your house may be the winning house this month. Let's rock, Bamo Nation. Shakir, our assistant principal, has some thoughts. Let's listen. Hey, Eagle Scholars. It's your brand new assistant principal this year joining the team of Eagle Nation, Mr. Shakir. I hope you guys have had a great and exciting week, and I definitely have enjoyed my time so far getting an opportunity to go into your classrooms, visit your classroom instruction, and I love that I see that you guys are engaging each and every day. As a quick reminder, um, I just want to remind students, please be sure to be in class on time each morning and make sure that you're giving your teachers your undivided attention. Lastly, be on the lookout because I will be visiting classrooms next week and assigning house points to all of our scholars who are actively engaged, who are participating, and who have on their uniforms. Have a fantastic week, Eagle Scholars. Here are a few words from our awesome instructional coaches, Ms. Sorrell, Ms. Walker, and Ms. Young. Hi, I'm Ms. Walker. I'm Ms. Young. And I'm Ms. Sorrell. 
Hey, K2 math students. Have you been practicing your addition and subtraction facts? What about you, grades three through five? Are you working on mastering those multiplication and division facts? I hope so, and keep it up, because pretty soon we have something exciting coming to BAMO just for you. Speaking of exciting, I'm so excited for Ms. Christian's birthday. We always have so much fun. And this year, it's going to be even bigger and better. We're celebrating on October the 30th. But in order for you to celebrate with us, she's challenged us to read, read, read. That's right, Ms. Young. Remember, in order to attend, if you are in grades K-2, you must read five books this month. Students in grades three, five, you must read two chapter books or 10 books on your level. Hope to see you there. Bye. We celebrate our commitment to being drug free and living healthy. This year's Red Ribbon Week celebration will begin October 26th and it will end October 30th. On Monday, October 26th, dress for success. On Tuesday, October 27th, wear a hat or a cap. On Wednesday, October 28th, ready to live a drug-free life. Come dressed in any red shirt. On Thursday, October 29th, be all that you can be. Be drug-free. Come dressed in camo attire. Friday, October 30th is Book Character Day. Come dress as any book character. We look forward to celebrating Red Ribbon Week, the last week of this month. Check your calendars for all of the activities. Let's see who's living the AR Point Club. Log in the most minutes read on the main stack app. Thanks, Fallon. In the Five Point Club, we have Neiman, Angel, Landon, Mansaya, Taylor, Ivy, Charlie, Cameron, Kaylin, Tiasia, DeAndre, Tiana, and McCaden. Congrats. And in the Ten Point Club, we have Brandon. Maya and Samuel, congrats. In the 25 point club, way to go, Peyton. And a huge shout out to Jaden. With 102.4 points, she is in the 100 point club. All right, Beanstack Loggers, we have DeAsia, Juwan, Mackenzie, Aviana, Jonathan, Jace, Elijah, Shondell, Chase, Marquez, Anaria, and Armani. All first graders, 830 minutes logged. Way to go. Rounding out the top five of the bean stack highest minutes logged, we have Heaven with 740 minutes, Tatiana, 404, Angel, 285, Aubrey, 240. Way to go. Keep logging those minutes. All right, let's see who holds the highest pages logged in Beanstack. We have Mansaya with 745 pages. Way to go, Mansaya. We have Zekaniya with 377 pages. Tatiana with 238 pages. With a total of 345 pages logged, congratulations, Brandon, Peyton, Brian, Talia, Jeremiah, and Madison. With a total of 313 pages, we have Jalen, Jacquees, Mariah, Joel, Terrence, Kayla, Kagome, Mason, Kiana, Navin, Trinity, Xavier, Kayla, Kimante. Way to go, fourth graders. Remember, keep logging those minutes all year long. And for the month of October, continue to log those pages for our Buzzer Readers program brought to you by Georgia Tech. I can't wait to see 
who's in first place next week. And remember our AR school-wide reading challenge. Kindergarten through second grade are challenged to read at least five books per month and take five AR tests. Third grade through fifth graders are challenged to read at least three chapter books or 10 books per month. Happy reading from Miss Fouché. Let's give a huge congratulations to our Eagles of the Week for last week. For pre-K, we have Brianna Pierce. For kindergarten, Madison Simmon and Nolan Hinkson. For first grade, we have Armani Waitley, Aubrey Abernathy, and Dominique Allison. For second grade, Jelia Johnson, Rakaya Dozier, Caleb Shepard, and Penelope Lane. For third grade, Alexander McDonald, Tiasia Manson, and Isaiah L. Hardy. For fourth grade, Brandon Manuel and Jalen Long. Then for fifth grade, Marcus Smith, Brad Blaylock Jr., Jamarion Bostic, and Ariana Addison. Congratulations, Eagles. Who doesn't love good snacks? I love good snacks, especially when I make my own. So saying that, here's a new segment called Snacks with Jaden. Hi, welcome to Snacks with Jaden. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is wash your hands. I already did that, so we can go ahead and get started. The first sandwich I did was a peanut butter and jelly graham cracker sandwich. I already did that, so we can move on to the next one. The first thing you'll need is graham crackers, honey, honey, <laughs> peanut butter, and the cool thing is, if you're allergic or you don't like peanut butter, you can use Nutella or almond butter. So we go ahead and take the honey, and the thing is you don't need a spoon for the honey one because it will spread itself around. You only need about that much. And then just spread it around. And then put it on top of your graham cracker. And there you have it. A honey and peanut butter graham cracker sandwich. Mmm. So good. <laughs> Now for Eagle Pride Weekend Forecast with Maya. Take it away, Maya. Hi, I'm Maya with your Weekend Forecast. Today will be a high of 69 degrees and a low of 49 degrees. So you may need your jacket. And tomorrow will be a high of 69 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. It may be a little bit cooler, but still, it's going to be a nice fall Saturday. And Sunday will be a high of 73 degrees and a low of 59 degrees. It's going to be a little bit warmer, but you still may need your jacket. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for joining us. And students, remember our four eagle expectations. Be kind, be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. Have a great Eagle Pride day!